my dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall brought a video on dc art fault detection by a suitable and easy operated bender make art fault locator please watch the video and try to solve the problem of dc art fault in your field a charger is required to charge batteries of battery bank and simultaneously to supply dc power to the load circuits of substation auxiliaries a battery bank is a reserve source required to supply power for the same when ac power is failed at the charger terminal so charger to battery bank to dc db to feeder panel to circuit breaker mechanism box transformer marcelin box isolator mechanism box etc dc supply is fed by using control cables during this journey control cable may face insulation failure wrong connection resulting ground fault on dc supply the fault should be detected and rectified as soon as possible without taking shutdown of dc system why does dc art fault locator used in the dc system the frequent shutdown of the dc system may not be possible due to system constraints and stability issue so it is always preferred to detect and isolate the dc art fault in the live system without taking any shutdown of dc system dc art fault locator is used to detect art fault in a live dc system detection when both positive and negative art fault occurred simultaneously by using dc art fault locator can be avoided so before test be confirm that there is no such fault by lamp test method if such fault occurs bulb will not glow fault locator is used when positive or negative art fault is occurred during measurement of positive to ground a little voltage or no voltage will appear at the screen of the multimeter and negative to ground shows balance voltage to 220 volt as we are checking fault at 220 volt dc supply system negative to ground fault may also be detected by the same process watch the checking of positive arch fault by using a multimeter the reading of multimeter indicates the presence of positive arch fault in dc supply system this is a bender make dc fault locator kit
for detection of the fault at first the pulse generator current injector here is connected to the dc system at the source point here at buses the pulse generator is extended the signal with respect to the ground to the whole dc system after that by using the receiver unit fault locator the pulse needs to check in every individual feeder and terminal points if there is no dc fault at any terminal point or feeder it will not create any closed loop and the pulse will not be detected by the receiver unit the yellow led of the receiver unit will blink slower with a distorted buzzer sound in another case in another case if any earth fault is stressed by the locator it will create a closed loop through the earth and receiver unit will detect the pulse and it indicates the dc earth fault in the system by blinking its yellow led more frequent and finally at fall point the led becomes steady with ringing of continuous buzzer sound please watch If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.